we are making Christmas cards today. So we are going to use our Cricut and photos to make darling DIY Christmas photo cards. So this is one of the biggest questions that I get asked when people are talking to me about Christmas cards. They want to incorporate, you know, pictures of their family, pictures of their dog, whatever, everything. That is what we're doing today. So let's hop over to the craft table. I'll show you everything that we're working with. We'll jump into Cricut Design Space for a couple of minutes and I'll give you some tips and tutorials there and then we'll make these cards. If you are new here, you are crafting with Kim Byers and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join me for all my future videos. Let's go. Okay, so here we are on the craft table and these are the things that we're going to work with today. So I have my Cricut Joy, I have various papers, I have some photos, I have card kits, I have a card mat. So just to be clear, you can make these cards on your Cricut Explorer and your Maker and I will put a video up above showing you how to use the uh, two by two card mat. So if you wanna do these, you can absolutely do what we're doing today on those two machines. We're just gonna use the Joy today for simplicity and because I'm really digging the quick cards, um, which I showed you guys a little preview to in my last video, which is an update to the Design Space app. Um, and the other thing is, is guys, just you don't have to use the card kits. You can make your own card kits. So if you're interested in that, I have another video that shows you how to make your own card kits. And I've done a little bit of that here because I made some inserts with different papers and things. And so we will be doing some of that. So let's go ahead and pop into Cricut Design Space and I'm going to go into the app, into the quick cards, and show you how to make three different versions of photo cards. We'll make a frame card, a peekaboo card, and a shaped card. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and as the making of this video, this is the first thing you're going to see is this Quick Start Custom Insert Cards because it's brand new. Then you just want to click Try It, and we're gonna start designing. So this is for Cricut Joy inserts and Cricut Joy cards. Um, we're gonna be able to do this with the Cricut Joy card mat. Okay, so we're going to go in and choose our corner style. Tons of choices here. So I'm gonna pick one and then we'll go to um, our orientation. So I'm going to choose landscape because that is the you know orientation of my photos. And then I would suggest going with an R30 card, which is four and a half by six and a quarter because then you can use your full photo. Um, but you can obviously use the other ones as well. You just have to trim down your image. Now we can go in and choose all the things about our cards. So the little balloon at the bottom is for images, the triangle and circle are for shapes, and the T is for text. You can also choose the color of your card, the color of your insert, the color of your pen, the foil color. So all the things here so you can truly envision what this card is going to look like when you get done. So we'll just choose um, red glitter, and see that pops up in our corners so we can see that. And then if we click the plus key, then we can go back and see the images. So let's go ahead and choose an image or a shape. And I'm actually going to use a shape first because I want to show you how easy this is to do a photo frame. So I'm going to choose a circle and we'll bring that in and now I can just drag that from the corners and make it as large or as small as I want. I mean, you could literally do just a whole bunch of polka dots. You could do a bunch of circles um, and even put them exactly where your child's face is or your family's face is. So we can cut this exactly as it is right now and this would be perfect, it'd be beautiful. By the way, if anyone is interested in learning how to address your envelopes and maybe even using the foil tool to address your envelopes, that could be our next video. So hop down in the description and let me know if you um, would be interested in that. But for now, what we want to do is we have a circle and now let's go choose an image. So again, we chose the plus and we chose the little balloon and now we can type in anything we want. You can also bring in uploaded images. I love this. But today we're gonna use what's in Cricut Design Space. So let's search for Ho Ho. Tons of choices here. So you can go down through and just pick the one that works best for you. I'm going to choose this one. You bring that in, and of course that's you know just a cut right now, but if you want to make it part of your card, all you have to do is to expand that image to the outer edges of this circle. 
And once you do that, move it into place. And I would suggest it touching as many areas as possible. And now we click away from that and you see that it pops up and tells us that once it's cut, some pieces are going to be missing. But do you notice that it's all part of the card now? It's like an auto weld. It is so neat. So you're going to be able to add things like do your shape and then add things into that center. I am just excited about this. So now when I click away, this is going to show me exactly what it's going to look like when it cuts. Is that not darling? I love this. Okay, so now we just go ahead and hit next and it's going to allow us to preview our card. It's also going to allow us to check everything and make sure that we have all the things that we want, the size of card. And this is our preview, so this is what it's going to look like cut out on the white card. Okay, now we're ready to cut. So let's go ahead and connect our joy and head back to the craft table. Okay, so here we are back on the craft table and I have these um, papers that I have cut out that I wanna use with this. I was kind of playing off of the green shirt here um, and so I didn't want to go too red or anything like that. I thought um, a little bit of red and the green, I think this will be very, very cute. So what we wanna do first is we want to take our card and take our card mat um, and if you've not made a card before, you just want to be able to insert it inside of that little sleeve and you want to make sure that it is pushed all the way up and all the way to the corners and so then you're going to push from the edge across and you can use a brayer if you want to um, or you can use your hands now I would definitely say don't have a lot of lotion or anything on your hands when you do this because the paper will absorb that from your hands okay so now once we have that in place we want to feed that into our Cricut Okay, and so now what we wanna do is remove our card from the card mat. And, and depending on the age of your card, it may very well self-weed. You just wanna be really careful and pull that design away. Okay, and then we'll just pop. Okay, oh wow, see that? That is gonna be so cute. So then we pull that out, and now what we can do is we can clean off the rest of that card with just our scraping tool and get off the excess. Now, okay, so for this card, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this photo for it, and I think I'm just going to have the patterns coming out the back, and then I'm going to place my image, and I'll cut down you know, the sides of this, but pop that in the center. And I think that one will be really, really fun. So we'll use that same technique. Um, I, I'm digging the ho-ho-ho, I have to say. And so we'll cut that so that the color of our corners show. Um, but we could use other things too. I, I mean, I love it just like that. Um, and then if you wanted to, actually what you could do is if you really liked your pattern, you wanted the whole thing to show, you could go on the inside and use those corners to tuck your photo on the inside. Actually, I got that upside down if I wanna have a message, right? So we'll tuck that in. And so then whenever they open their card, there's that sweet photo, and then you could write on the inside. Okay, and so for our third card, we're going to do a shape um, with the pen tool, and we're also gonna do a little bit of embellishment. So there's really no end to all the beautiful cards that you can make, but I wanted to show you these three simple ways so you could be as creative as you wanted to be. So I went in and I pulled in a um, ornament shape. I pulled in Merry Christmas, and I changed that to a pen. I also put the year on there. I always love to see Christmas cards. I keep my Christmas cards, and so I always love it when they have a year on it. So now that we have all of those things, um, and you can, by the way, I know we've talked about this before, but just remember it's down in the plus um, button. So you have the icon of the balloon, and that is for your shape. So that's where I got my ornament. Um, and then the T is where we're going to get um, the date and I, the Merry Christmas is also an image. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit done. And so this is what our card is going to look like, but you have to envision that you're gonna have that fantastic picture um, inside of the ornament shape, okay? And so then the next thing we do is we hit make it. It's going to find our Cricut Joy and it's going to let us check everything to make sure we have the right card size, um, what marker or pen we're using, all the things. This is also where you can preview it. So this is what it's going to look like. And just remember, when you choose your shape, you can keep the interior of that shape and reattach it like I did in my last video with the snowflake. But for today, we're actually gonna let all of that fall away. Okay, we hit close and next we find our Cricut Joy 
and back to the craft table we go. Okay, so let's do a take two. So let's move these out of the way. Pull back in our card, our card mat. We'll open it up. Shift it all the way to the top. Work from the edge over. Okay, and so we'll feed that back into the joy. Now this time we're going to use a pen. So I'm going to grab a marker. I love using markers. Grab a marker, pop that in, close it. Select go on our app. Okay, so now we'll take out the pen and replace that with our blade. Okay, and so now our card is done. We'll unload that, move our Cricut Joy out of the way. But so now, we have this ornament, right? And so then we want to look at our designs or look at our photos. Oh yes, and that's sweet. So he's, we've got both little kiddos, their faces are both showing. And what I love about this is we could actually embellish it. So we could put like a little ribbon here or we could just use our insert piece. So let's check out what that's gonna look like. Okay, so now that we have our insert and everything's ready to go, what we wanna do now is we want to look at our photo and determine if we need to cut it down at all. So I actually do because I want the gold to show in the corners. So I'm just going to trim up my photo just just a little bit. Okay, so next up, join me where I show you how to write on the inside of your cards, or you can learn how to use cutaway cards. And don't forget, if you want to learn how to address your envelopes and maybe even use foil to address those envelopes, make sure you hop down below and leave me a note in the comments. See you in the next video.